heck was that? Maybe if I hide under the blankets, you won't know what's up here. Um, what do you think you're doing? I, I just wanted to snuggle. Kids can't let me be the only hybrid dinosaur. I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. Because I kind of have this issue where the bed gets randomly wet in the middle of the night. And that was uh, too much information for me. You're supposed to be the scary Godzilla. What happened? Yeah, I get that a lot. Hey, I just love super important views. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today we're going to... Today, we'll be going over the Jurassic World Indoraptor from Mattel. The super poseable version. There's supposed to be a light-up version coming out, but I don't think that comes out till later. But, anyways, uh, this is the, uh, what the shipper box said is the villain dinosaur of the movie. Is he climbing a cage, or technically that's what he's supposed it, to be doing? It kind of looks like he's climbing a cage. You got, like, the rain going on in the background. Which, I guess is kind of fitting, because it's more of a dark background, and then you got the really dark dinosaur here. Uh, but from what I've seen from the trailers, I don't recall him being so dark. Like, I thought he kind of just looked like an Endo, or like the Endo, uh, Indominus Rex. I keep trying to say Endo. Indominus Rex, but just smaller. Well, Rap this just looks like a black raptor with some... Oh, maybe when he was climbing fuzz? through one of the pipes, Steve, some of the oil got on top of him. Maybe that's the special version. He just needs a bath. Yeah. <laughs> He's dirty raptor. <laughs> But anyways, we're just going to get into it because the movie's not out. I don't really know much about this dude. So we're just going to start the review. So without further ado, for his packaging, looks pretty nice. Again, like he's climbing the cage, it kind of looks like. Looks like he's stepping up a little bit there. Stepping up in a world. Yeah, moving on up. Got O and a blue on the bottom here. It tells you that it's the Endoraptor for ages three and up. On this side, you can kind of see the dinosaur still look like he's trying to climb. Like he's just like, help me <laughs> on the side. But you get some more gray Jurassic World. Opposite side, more of the same, but just a little wider. And on the back of the bag, he just says he has movie authentic posability. So you can even get him on all fours. Wait, 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 wait. What does that even mean? It means you could pose him in literally every way you see him in the movie. We'll have to come back to that, maybe for a Geek Chess video, to see if it's actually a true statement. We're going to scrutinize that video and try to find some place... Where you can't pose him. <laughs> I, I think we should challenge that right there, sir. Damn, I, want our, uh, uh, I want my money back. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, he also, you can get the Jurassic World Fact app, which I'm sure you can scan the bottom of his foot as well. But we'll have to wait to find out. And also you get a gyro ball and Odin Blue on the bottom of the package as well. And that's pretty much it. Got some legal mumbo jumbo. Got to attach a tail. And what's going to open up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so now we got the Indoraptor open up out of his cardboard prison. Uh, also, from the last time we started doing these videos, I'm no sick. So, sorry in advance. Well, what channel is this for, Steve? Super. Oh, God. It's been so long, I forgot. Yeah, remember we already did the intro like a week and a half ago. So, but we still have to finish the actual video. So been a while. So, we're finishing it now. Uh, but what, 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 what did we say in the unboxing? Yeah, it's been a week and a half. We're just swinging it then. Yeah, we're just going with it. So, anyways, as you can see, he is opened up out of his cardboard prison. Uh, funny thing was, during the unboxing, <laughs> the tail's supposed to be arcing downward, as you can see it with the Endoraptor here. Also, he's a little front heavy. Just to a let little? you guys know, you can balance him. Like he's got a big head. It was standing. Or she, it. Um, I would assume it's a she. Because I like to assume gender. Well, then, almost like everything <laughs> female in Jurassic Park is female. Is that why she kept going for that girl? Was that her kid? In the trailers? I don't think so. We'll go. I think this thing's just Freddy Krueger as a dinosaur. Just wants the children, man. Maybe this dinosaur is a dream monster. It's a gab. A dream warrior. It's a Gabra. Could be. It's a hybrid Gabra. But anyways, uh, there isn't really any accessories or anything for this guy, so we're just going to go into a closer look at his details. Her details. I'm going to be messing this up all video. For the head sculpt, looks okay. It's got... It's uh, it's sort of Endora or Indominus Rex, it but it's a little weird. bit more streamlined. It's, it's a lot more Raptor than the Indominus was. Is that what they needed blue for? That's what I'm assuming. Because they, they want, essentially, like, it's Jurassic World, they wanted 
it dom they wanted the raptors to program to work because they wanted the raptors to be trainable so that they could genetically engineer things like an indominus rex to be trainable yeah so i think that's the reason why they're probably going to the island to get blues so that they can experiment with blue so they can make pretty much a Domus Raptor that'll listen to your, obey your commands, not just go nom, 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 all over the place, uh, which is what we're looks like we're seeing in the movie. Because uh, the only thing that kind of bothers me about this guy is the way the snout's done. This piece seems like it's its own separate piece when they did the mold. Because you'll see right here, like even the top of the snout has a seam line. And I don't know why, but it just kind of bothers me a little bit more than it should. I don't know. It is pretty obvious. Yeah, I don't. I don't really get why it's there. It doesn't add articulation. It doesn't feel softer. Has no purpose. So, so it's not like this is a ha like a hindrance, or they thought it was gonna be smashing into things a lot, so they maybe wanted to make it softer. So I, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, just something just the way they had to do the mold, like maybe that just had to be an extra piece, I guess. I'm just not really a fan of the look because even though it's a lot of black here it's a little distracting but for the eyes you get this blood red color you get it speckles a little bit away from the eye it doesn't on both sides so you get if it'll focus you get the scales with the red that kind of goes into the eye teeth are done in a bone coloring uh, it's missing a little bit of paint there on the one front section for the tons done the to gloss red you kind of see that flopped a little bit in the back here where it's kind of going onto the membrane not the cleanest transition but it's there i guess which is kind of my issue with this guy is the paint job is just a little bit lackluster because a little bit it's a lot of black you get the gloss black on the black back the back you get the metallic gold here on the side here and then for the stomach region it's a matte black Ooh. Which I don't know, is it, like, from what I see in the trailers, is it this color? No, it's a little lighter than that. To me, it's kind of seemed like it was just like Mini Indominus, right? Yeah. Well, this guy is, uh, I guess supposed to be Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> in a sense, like, it looked like it kind of came out of a tar pit. <laughs> and decided it wanted to eat things. Uh, which is weird, too, because, like, the hair or crests on the back here, too, are also done to gloss black. And it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't look the cleanest to me. Mold-wise, though, it's really nice, because you get the scaling on the back here. Shows up really well, especially on the legs, on the back section, for the tail here. And that all looks really nice, because even on the stomach here, too, you get the waves for the extra skin. That shows up, which looks really nice, too. And on the back of the tail here. You get the ridges on the bottom section here. And, like, mold-wise looks really nice. Even for the hands here. Which, I can honestly say that the nails at least are painted this time. Because, it, like, the figure is all black, so it has to be black nails. So they won there this time. They won this time. Because, you can also see for the hind legs, too, where you get that raptor claw. And two other toes. Wait, wait, shouldn't they all be raptor, though, Steve? That's kind of weird, isn't it? No. But it, raptors only have the one e one on each foot. But he's hybrid. He needs all those massive claws. How would it walk? I have no idea, but it would be amazing. It just walks on its hands. <laughs> it's just all death claws on the back of its feet. Exactly. All the time. So, yeah. Sculpt-wise, I think it looks really nice outside of the snout. It's just the paint job. It's just, I don't know. It's It's a little bit hit and miss for me. Like, I don't think it's atrocious. Don't like, don't get me wrong, but I think it maybe could have been done a little bit better here and there, especially for this guy being kind of sold on the whole articulation gimmick. It would have been nice to maybe see a little bit more attention to detail for the paint job, because a lot of people that are generally going to be buying this because it's posable are going to be collectors. I don't know if his posability is worth it though. Collection, yeah, because he's. Like for kid, like for kids, it's cool, but for the most part, like when I was a kid, like I, I mainly wanted like them to have a gimmick, 
like them to shoot something sounds. That's usually what like I went for. I didn't really care if the thing was super posable. It just kind of was like an added bonus. I don't know, it is more fun to play with them when it actually can do stuff. So that's why I was saying, like, this would be more meant for, like, an adult, but I he, feel. But he can do the Superman fly. He can do the Superman fly. I will give you that one. But anyways, uh, for his articulation, head, can look up about that far, down about that far, pretty much all the way around, and a really nice wiggle to it. He also got really nice range of motion on the top section of the head here as well mouth can open about that far nowhere near the t-rex close about that far arm can rotate all the way around can shift in and out which is really nice to see you had to bend here at the elbow rotation at oh. the elbow nice bend at the hands so he does a really good wave rotation leg can Go all the way around as well. Can go outwards about that far, inwards about that far. Knee can straighten up about that far, bend in about that far. Second knee bends forward and back, rotates all the way around. Then nothing at the ankle area here. Uh, guys, if you want to see the bottom of the foot for the scanner, there you go. Then for the tail, which is wrong. It should be pointing up, not down. Nope, definitely should be pointing down. Can wiggle side to side. Go up about that far. Down about that far. A little bit of play at the second tail as well. But no wire or anything hidden in, so it's pretty much always going to be bending down. And for some quick comparisons here, we have the Endoraptor compared next to some other large-scale Jurassic World figures with the Thrash and Throw Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Real Field Mosasaur, which we did... Videos for these guys up over on the Geek Chest if you guys are interested. And here it is with some other Jurassic World collectibles with the electronic blue mask and the tiny little Dilophosaurus dude here with spit accessory. And here it is with some previously reviewed Jurassic World figures with the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus from the Roarivores line. And here's the end director compared next to some SH Monsters figures with Shin Godzilla and GMK Godzilla. And here's some random NECA figures because why not? With the Ultimate City Hunter Predator from Predator 2 and the Elder Predator from Alien vs. Predator. So overall, the Mattel Super Articulated Endoraptor, this figure is alright. It's got a lot of articulation, paint job is a little bit lackluster, but the mold's really nice. So if you guys are looking for an Endoraptor for your collection, I think it's a solid choice. But for kids, I think you're probably better off maybe waiting for the other Endoraptor that's coming out with Life and Sounds closer to the movie because for me when i was a kid i always kind of wanted something to like my figures to do stuff like lights sounds you name it or it shoots things and this guy kind of does none of that so i feel like it's not really aimed quite as hard as kids it's more for adults so the later version that's coming out is going to definitely be more for them then most kids aren't going to really know what this is anyways because it's not an official dinosaur so i feel like you could just wait on it I don't know, I do like all the poses it can do. You can do some amazing pictures with it. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, I'm, you can do like jumping poses, everything, you know. I might actually try to go out in the wild and get some pictures of this guy. But I'd have to go find some place because I, since I moved, I don't really got like a woods near me anymore. Yeah, it sucks for you, Steve. Just a bit. I might have to go to the park. <laughs> so yeah, again, if you guys are collectors and looking forward to the movie, then definitely pick up this guy. But for kids, I maybe would wait on the other Endoraptor that's getting released. The one thing I gotta wait to see for the movie, though, is if it's in scale. I don't know. Like, that's the is. thing I don't know, because I think it's bigger than blue. Well, there's, like, few, like, odd scenes, like when she crosses that line and that claw comes out, that claw is huge. Yeah, like compared to the kid, that thing looks like gigantic. Yeah, but then there's like that scene where it walks in the kid's room and it looks like blue size. Yeah, so that's why I'm kind of waiting for the movie because again, that's why I like for kids, I don't, it being off scale would have bothered me a lot when I was a kid. Hmm. Heck, I remember when the original Jurassic Park came out, it bothered me that the raptors are so huge. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up the Endoraptor, what's your favorite Jurassic World figure? Is Dino Crisis more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer pictures of our up on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account, the exclusive prints for the channel, also down in the description. And I'm able to defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.